So the first real step in making a Flourish visualization of your own is importing your own data and getting your own data into Flourish. So that's what this video is going to be about. Um, so when you first open a new visualization, there's always going to be something here in this preview tab. You're always going to see some sort of chart because there's always going to be a sample data set imported um, into and preloaded rather into the template. And for now, we're going to be working back in this data tab. But just so you know, you can see here that there's already data um, imported in. And if you go to the data tab, you can see again in here, here are X and Y values. Um, so that's what's drawing this scatter plot, which we can see here in the corner. Um, and to overwrite the sample data, all you have to do is click this big import your own data button. Um, Flourish templates can take Excel files, CSV files, TSV files, and then also JSON and GeoJSON files for maps. Um, in this case, I'm going to import the CSV file that I have locally on my computer. Um, I'm going to click import again. And it also is always going to show you how many rows are imported. Um, and if you're in a template that gets rid of rows, like throws rows out for any reason, it will also show you here uh, how many rows have been thrown away. So um, now that I've imported my data, I have to tell Flourish which columns to use and in what way and what column corresponds to sort of what type of data. So this is all done using this um, set columns to visualize panel over here on the right. And it has all of these column settings. If you scroll down, you can see all of them. Uh, there's quite a lot in this template because the scatter template is quite complicated. And in this case, there's only two required ones, X and Y, for a basic scatter um, plot. And so let's say that this was actually on here. Um, this makes a bit more sense. So you saw how this switched over here. Um, basically, these settings are how you tell the template what kind of data is over here. So in this case, we have each row is a sort of neighborhood in the city of Chicago. And then each of these columns is a different type of sort of hardship factor, like poverty and housing and unemployment rate. And what's being currently drawn on this map down on this plot down here is across the Y, across the X axis, we have this C uh, column, households below the poverty line, a percentage. And then also a, a percentage um, across the y-axis, we have crowded housing percentage, which corresponds over here. Um, and in this case, we also have a name column, so we can add this name column in here. But say, for example, um, I wanted to put the households below poverty line across the y and crowded housing across the x. All I would do is change these right here. And you can see how they, it changes here in the preview. Um, basically, all you're doing is telling the template what to read and what column is what kind of data. Um, if you scroll down, like I said, there's a bunch of other options. Um, but in this case, if we go back to the preview, you can see that um, it's plotting crowded housing and households below the poverty line. And then each of these dots, it's also showing that it's the name um, of the neighborhood. Um, and there's no need to fill these extra column settings in. If you're not going to use them, you can just leave them blank. And yeah, that's sort of, this is one of the trickiest parts of Flourish. So once you sort of understand this, um, I think you're pretty much on your way.